2019 Gas Gas EC250. We reviewed its big brother, the 300, last year. It was no slouch, but damn, this 250 rips. Similar to the other European two-strokes, the 250 engine has less grunt than the 300, but it spins up faster, revs higher, it's 500 bucks cheaper, and a bit easier to throw around due to less rotational mass. Perfect if you like good old-style two-stroke action. Changes for 2019? Improved electrical system, revised starter with a bigger battery, an engine mapping switch, plus some engine and suspension tweaks. We had five riders on the EC250 for the weekend to look at the pros and cons of the Spanish Beast. Here is what we liked. Nice componentry. An FMF pipe comes standard. It's placed relatively high out of harm's way. A decent sized 10 litre tank, which is clear so you can see how much fuel you have. The Kayaba suspension is top notch stuff and widely regarded as the best stock suspension you will get on a dirt bike. Fast or slow, it rides like a dream and there's way less chance you will need suspension tuning, which can save a packet of money. The EC250 and its big brother still have a kickstart. Woohoo! For some riders, this is a huge plus, as with most brands now, you have to fork out $500 or more to have a kickstart installed. Takasago rims from Japan are a very good solid rim, although apparently you do need to keep an eye on spoke tension more than normal just for the first few rides till they bed in. Power delivery. It was a wet, slippery weekend, so we didn't get to hit the throttle that often. The Gas Gas doesn't quite have the same bottom end power as other 250s, but we don't necessarily see that as a bad thing. If you are into slow, snotty terrain, you will be going for a 300 anyway. In our experience, 250 riders are the guys who love the more traditional power hit of two strokes. And in that respect, they will love the Gas Gas. A strong mid-range that builds to a big hit at high revs. Mapping switch was handy for reducing wheel spin in these wet conditions. It didn't make the huge difference Sherco's mapping switch does, but it's noticeable and a handy addition. Ergonomics. We tall riders found the 250 very nice and roomy. Our shorter riders did find the bike a bit high. However, there's plenty of room to cut down the seat if needed, and there's always the Gas Gas Ranger, which sits a full four centimeters lower according to the factory. When most manufacturers are making their bikes so slim <laughs> they are anorexic, I liked the flared rear panels on the Gas Gas. It makes it easier to grip the bike with your legs and acted much like a set of my much loved Steg pegs. Gearbox, we loved it. The stock gearing wasn't that suitable for our tight trails, but the spread of ratios is great and gear changes were very slick. There's nothing wrong with the beaters most of us ride, but the gas gas gear changes are very smooth indeed. I think the price is what might see a lot of guys looking at the gas gas. A quick scan of international prices show it's consistently among the cheapest of the European two strokes. If you wanted a kickstart, well, you've saved maybe up to another 500 bucks. And if you usually take your new bike to the suspension tuner, chances are you'll save money there too with the superb Kayaba setup. So what's not so hot with Gas Gas? Well, they are still persisting with the old KTM style starter motor. They seem to have avoided most of the hassles KTM had with this system, and it has been further upgraded for 2019. 
At least it's very accessible when you need to maintain it and of course you have the Kickstarter standard. After the magically light clutch on the Gas Gas Ranger, the clutch pull on the 250 was a small disappointment. It ain't bad, but Gas Gas's competitors have lightened their clutch pull substantially in recent years. With all our slow technical riding, we would be looking at an aftermarket lever to address this. For the typical dirt rider though, it should be fine. Irrelevant for most riders, but if you are into snotty, rocky terrain, these frame rails are just like the Beta ones and can get bashed by rocks, unless protected by a suitable bash plate. The Europeans generally run the FIM approved tyres, which have lower knobs to reduce ripping up the tracks. In my experience, these tyres are usually okay, but they are shit <laughs> in certain types of clay and mud. This weekend was no exception. Ride a lot of mud, you will probably hit this issue with any European two-stroke, so it's not a gas gas specific problem. But if you like mud, you may need to buy different tyres straight away. So there you have it guys, a fine addition to the Euro smokers market. If you like the play racer aspect of the Revy 252 stroke, and you want bang for your buck, the EC250 is a very, very strong contender.